of us, to Arizonans, to the party of Reagan, to the party of John McCain, to all of us in here, something we say in Minnesota, and I know you say it here, things work better in almost all aspects of life if people just mind their own damn business about things. That's it. I, I feel like the Republican Party, I should like trademark that, because that used to be their mantra. Stay out of our business, stay out of doing that. Now they want to be in every single thing you do. So look, for all of you, and I know there's different reasons on this, especially for the women in here, especially for the fathers, the husbands, but it's personal for all of us. And this idea, you think they're stopping with abortion? Oh, no. You know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. We have 20 states that do this. Effort. It's not a beautiful thing that women are bleeding out in parking lots. It's not a beautiful thing that Amber Thurman has to drive from Georgia to North Carolina to get her care, and by the time she's now dead. And those, those are what's out there. They're not stopping. They're talking about access to contraception. And they're talking about limiting, and they've tried it, limiting fertility treatments for families that want to have them. And that's where it comes in. Look. Those women that now you know their names, Amanda and Hadley, the names of women who are courageous in speaking out what their bands have done, same with us. You don't want to hear me talk about my personal health things or my wife's personal health things, but we've talked about it because we used infertility treatments. And that's how we got our beautiful daughter by infertility treatments. I thought, oh. And for all of you, I talk about it. I don't want my kids to be thrust out there and they get, but look, they're my whole life, and I recognize if we're asking you to make us president and vice president, we damn sure better respect you and your family's decisions on that note. So here's my appeal to the Republicans in the group. When did the party of Reagan decide that government should make choices for you? They have not. When Vice President Harris and I talk about freedom, it's you, not politicians. And we guarantee you to the women in this country, you and your doctor will make the decisions when we restore Roe.